Hello my beauties. Today I'm going to show you how to make tatsiki sauce. Hopefully I'm saying that correct. Tatsiki sauce is one of my all time favorite sauces ever. Um, and this is kind of like a two part video because I'm currently filming the best lamb chops that you can eat in your life. So I didn't want to record the, the tzatziki sauce in the same video in case you want to make the tzatziki sauce for anything else because it goes absolutely perfect with anything and everything. It goes good with chicken to dip um, your veggies. It's good for the lamb chops, obviously. It goes good as a spread on a sandwich. It goes good on a old pizza shoe. I don't know what to tell you. I just know that it is absolutely delicious and it's a very quick and easy sauce to make. This is a Greek sauce. So anything that's kind of like Greek related or anything like that, it goes good with. I almost forgot to show you. The ingredients are going to be very good extra virgin olive oil, salt, one garlic clove, which we're going to um, grate. We need some shredded coconut, uh, shredded coconut, shredded cucumber. Juice from half a lemon. You're going to need some plain Greek yogurt. Make sure it doesn't have any flavor. It can be vanilla, it can be any other flavor. It has to be a plain Greek yogurt. You're going to need a tiny bit of honey and a bit of dill. Some people don't like adding honey. I think is essential for me. I like a little bit of touch of that sweetness from the honey, but we're adding a tiniest bit amount, so don't worry. So you can see I'm only using, there's about 5.3 ounces of Greek yogurt. I make this in huge batches, like I make like four of these at a time whenever I have a lot of people over because this goes so quickly. Like I feel like everyone loves tatsiki sauce. It's like delicious. So you just want to add your Greek yogurt to a mixing bowl. I'm going to add a tiny bit of salt. Remember salt equals flavor. You're going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. That looks pretty good. We just have to peel our garlic. Our garlic is going to go right in there. And I really like to grate the garlic because I really do dislike, um, I was gonna say hate, but I didn't wanna say hate, piece of garlic in my tzatziki sauce. So I much rather just grate it so we can get a lot of that beautiful garlic leaf flavor without the big pieces. And remember, once you grate garlic, it becomes very potent, so you don't really need a lot. You're going to need juice of half a lemon, and this is a pretty big lemon, so add a little bit, taste it, and see how, if you want a little more. I'm going to grate my cucumber. It's a paper towel, so I can remove some of that excess liquid. So as you can see, we have dried cucumber, and now I'm going to squeeze as much water as I can out of this cucumber. So I'm going to go over to the sink to do that and then I'll be right here in just a second. Okay, so removed as much of that water from the cucumber as I could. Okay, and then we add the cucumber right in there. Looks pretty good. You can add less, more cucumber. Again, depending on how much you want. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of that. I'm going to add a little bit now and then I'm going to try it and add a little bit more. Let me shop a little bit of dill. And I love, love dill. I think I like pretty much every herb out there. It's just so good. I love me some herbs. Okay, last but not least, we do need, like I said, a tiny bit of honey. I would say half a tablespoon. We just mix everything together. Now we try it. Oh, it's so good. I am going to add a little more lemon juice. I actually do want a little more olive oil, just a tiniest bit more, a little more salt. Okay, and this is how you do it. You just, you just add stuff and then you try it and see if it needs a little more and obviously a little more honey, just a touch more of honey. Okay, we mix again. Okay, and now we try one more time. Mm. Okay, that is perfect. You got the fresh dill, which gives it a amazing flavor, a little bit of honey, which gives it a little bit of sweetness, but not too much. As you know, 
Greek yogurt can be very tart and it's not sweet at all. So I do like to add a little bit of sweetener because we have obviously the lemon juice which makes it a little more tart than what it already is. So to me, this is perfect. This stays good in the fridge for about three to four days. And like I said, you can put it on pretty much anything. You can double the recipe, triple the recipe. This is gonna go absolutely fantastic on my lamb chops, which you're going to see me serve with this sauce. Over on my next video, I think it's gonna go after this one. And that's pretty much it. This is my all-time favorite tzatziki sauce. Know you would love it. So you saw very, very simple to make with the simplest ingredients. I hope you enjoy this recipe and I can wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.